it's so so important to to have goals and to have dreams because without that and without that structure to do it you'll be lost living in the now and being very conscious of your thoughts being aware of how you talk to yourself that can that can um, mold and change your future for the better. Look, don't don't hold yourself back just to one thing. Like for me, I've got the bottles, I've got the clothes, I'm starting my YouTube. Why not? If it aligns with your purpose, yeah. with your why, with who you are, go for it. I'm too busy and it takes takes out too much energy to to be judgmental to be negative to put my own you know my own opinion on something that yeah. doesn't affect my life get out of your comfort zone find yourself yeah. find what you love yeah. and then from there is maybe the e-com the right way or yeah. a service or whatever you want to start don't just all of a sudden look at my life and go oh he's doing so well he looks so motivated can i do yeah, that yeah, yeah. go out and try things i'm looking back at it three four years ago when um, yeah, it was just a clear indica- indicator of what I'm doing now. So that together we have clarity, direction, and success way beyond what we ever previously thought possible. Here's your host, Frankie Lee. Welcome back to the Frankie Lee Podcast. Today, guys, we have the guest that you have continually asked me for. The guy has the best hairline in the water bottle <laughs> manufacturing <it>. world <laughs> Mate, you're you're interrupting uh, my intro we sorry. have we have we have mitch third former rugby player man who owns third fix collection and guys you asked for him he's here mate welcome to the podcast thank you thanks for having me bro grateful to be here mate mate good to have you man like we we Mate, even even the pre chat, the pre roll, mate. There's so much to talk about today. Well, let's stop. We need to put this on the podcast. We've got to stop chatting. Yeah, we, we got we got we got to, we got to get this. We got to get this on record, mate. Like, I think the best place to start with you, so that people get a real insight into into your kind of journey, is to kind of go. Let's let's strip it way back and go. I believe like the thing that you pursued when you like kind of left school was was rugby, right? I think that was your real dream. Like, yeah, give, for give sure. A, give us a bit of insight into that. So all through school and after school, my, my passion and where I saw myself going in life was to become a professional rugby player. Um, after school, I also went to university, studied a double degree of exercise science and psychology, got the paper, um, became a semi-professional rugby player, moved down to Canberra, played for all these semi-professional teams. And um, I suppose throughout that journey, I just lost passion for rugby. You know, I had all my peers, my parents telling me what I was meant to be. I was supposed to be, you know, this rugby player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was kind of it at school, but just through the journey, I lost passion for it and I gained passion for the environment and e-com and, and that's sort of where I'm at today. I, sp- I suppose I want to dive into that because I've, I've found that in my life that I have, tr- I have found myself in so many periods of my life trying to be wh- how I wanted the world to, to see me, like how I, trying yeah. to be the guy that I thought the world wanted to see me as. For sure. Do you know what I mean? Definitely. Is that kind of how you felt with the rugby thing? Yeah, so like, don't get me wrong, through school and, and just after school, I, I 100% wanted to be a rugby player. But I found through injuries and through just sort of like, being a rugby player has a cap. You can only, you, you're on a salary, you can only go as big as, you know, as sort of the top dogs. But in terms of like business and everything else, it's just a, a free range for you to for you to go exponential through, through the world. So throughout rugby, I did get a few injuries. I did have a few setbacks. And through those injuries and setbacks, um, I... I traveled, I traveled with, with my ex-partner and, and through those travels, I, I fell in love with this sort of lifestyle that I live now, which is traveling, taking content, networking, um, hanging out with successful people. And I suppose I just, I just lost passion for rugby and, um, I, don't get me wrong, I did get offered a professional contract and it's a, it's actually a pretty funny story. Um, I got offered a professional contract and I declined it to go on a holiday with my girlfriend. Are you serious? A hundred percent. And like, you know, you dream of this contract and this opportunity for your whole childhood and throughout school and everything. And I got delivered it on a silver platter. And What, what, what club was it? 
it was the Brumbies down in Canberra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was playing the semi semi professional team for them, the Vikings. So it's it yeah. was in the NRC comp. It was on TV, everything like that. And they asked me to do a preseason with them. So it was like a ten to twelve week uh, preseason, which they said to me, you know, if you train well, you'll be able to you'll be able to you know train with a or yeah, get a get, get a contract get with a professional team, yeah. team and being the person I am I knew if I trained hard and I would have I would have trained hard and I would have impressed I would have got the contract but there was just something just missing there was something in the back of my head that that was saying go on this holiday with your partner go have fun and um you know I was saying to the coach I ended up telling him I said look can I go on this holiday and when I get back continue on the preseason. And he sort of laughed at me and was like, mate, you have, you have to take this full serious. It's either yes or no. And I ended up declining it. But, do you know what, though? I think that's kind of like the Australian thing. Like, you guys aren't afraid to fucking say no to shit like that. Like, I, I, I think if that was me in England, I would have been peer pressured into doing that. Definitely. Do you Definitely. know what I mean? I just think you guys are so much more like carefree in, re- in, in relation to what happens in your future because you've had it so. You, you, it's so good here. It's so good here, bro. Like the lifestyle, especially on the Gold Coast where we live right right yeah, here. Yeah, you can't beat it. I was born and raised here. I'll probably never leave just because the lifestyle here is, is so so amazing. Mate, it's it's you, you can you got mountains, you got rainforests, you got fucking waterfalls. It's like. Yeah, it's shit, guys. Don't come here. <laughs> you know what I mean? But for me, basically, with that journey of rugby, um, it was just I'm so happy with how my life is right now and how yeah, everything yeah. is planned out. Like I'm, I'm so glad that I went on that holiday. So through that holiday, we started taking heaps of content. Yeah. Um, my ex's Instagram started blowing up. We went to Bali and. And on that trip, it was so we went to America and then a few weeks later we went to Bali and on that Bali trip is where I fell in love with the environment and where I actually came up with the the idea of Third Fix. So I remember so vividly being on, um, I think it was Nusa Penida, one of the islands off Bali and there was this beach just filled with rubbish, like filled with plastic rubbish and more specifically single-use plastic. And so I wanted to create a reusable bottle that would prevent people from buying single-use plastics. And so when I got home from that holiday, um, I'm into my fitness, into my gym, and I remember um, shaking up my protein and and protein was getting stuck in the corners. So I was trying to work out how I could could create a reusable bottle that would prevent people from buying single-use plastic bottles and solve the issue of supplementation getting stuck in the corners. Because there's nothing more annoying... Then when you put the, when you put the powder in, it gets stuck in the fucking gets corner. stuck. Yeah. It smells. That's why your bottle smells. So my bottle at the moment, the point of difference is the round bottom, yeah, which makes it odor resistant, bacteria resistant. It's easy to clean. But I ended up coming up with the idea of the round bottom. I hit up heaps of manufacturers in China. Um, probably about ten to fifteen manufacturers. I hit up. I came back with about three suppliers that were really yeah. good. Got samples from them, and then yeah, I ended up getting the bottle that I have now. And um, I put rugby aside because I was losing passion for that, and I grew passion for traveling and taking content with my girlfriend. And as her Instagram was blowing up, you know, I'd ask her to take photos of the bottles, and I was starting to get sales with the bottles. And I was going, what, so you, "What's so going on here? Is, is that just all purely organic sales from, from all just- organic, just from like her fans?" Um, the content we were taking was pretty cool and, and back then it was around 2018 it was really easy to sort of blow up and get on the explore feed because Instagram wasn't as popular as what it was today so I was still don't get me wrong I was still playing rugby for fun I was at university still but I, in the back of my head I'm like hang on a second I can make a living off, off this product and, and taking content with it and sharing it with everyone so my my passion and my purpose went from rugby to now onto this product yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. being environmentally friendly and solving this issue of supplementation. So I started on this journey of third fix and um, to be honest, I haven't looked back since. Mate, I, I love that because professional sport 
and any level sport is so is so cutthroat, mate. You can be in there, you can be at the top of your game yep. one day, and the next day your cruciate ligament's gone, you're fucked. Exactly. You know what I mean? And and and, and, and the sponsors, they leave you, they drop you dead. Yeah. And it's just such a cutthroat sport. It is, bro. And for me, during that time, I actually had surgery on my knee, had my MCL done, my PCL done, and I got it all fixed, um, had surgery on it, then six months later did it again. <sighs> And for me, bro, that was a universe saying, bro, this, this is isn't not for you. you. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, for yeah, you, yeah. bro. You've got this amazing product now. Um, you love to travel. Put all your, all Put your all eggs your energy in. into yeah. it. Yeah. And so I'm a big believer on the universe giving you signs and it's happening for you and not to you. So the journey that I'm now on, I'm, I'm looking back at it three, four years ago and um, yeah, it was just a clear indica- indicator of what I'm doing now. Yeah, mate. Because... When you, it's it's hard when you're in that moment to look at something and and think to yourself, fucking hell, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's, it, when, you, when you're in that moment, I remember being st- stood in the, stood in a boxing ring, uh, Michael Buffer to the side of me, like, I just worked my first world title corner as a professional trainer. And I stood there and I, and, and, and I realised in that moment that boxing wasn't for me. This is, I'd lent my ladder against the wrong yep. wall. That is a very vulnerable moment where you can either try and step into the person who you truly are, mm. or you can step into the person that you think the world wants you to be. And you have to make a fucking real clear choice yep. in that moment, exactly who you want to turn up as. Definitely. And that's very, for, for, for any man, woman, or anyone, it, that, is, that is a hard decision to make. It's a hard decision. And for me right now, it's about being self-aware. So the... <laughs> The way you can separate yourself and find yourself is being authentic and being yourself. No one can be a better you than than you. You you know what I'm saying? So for me, everyone's always like, how can I find my why, find my purpose? Be yourself, be authentic. Look inward. Look inward. 100%. Everyone's out there trying to pursue this external shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Literally, if you go to Burley Pav and you sit there without a phone and you drink a glass of water. I know it sounds fucking stupid, but if you go there to, to an environment like that where it's all about being seen and all mm-hmm. about how you look and everything like that and just watch people, man. And like everyone's seeking external validation from yep. someone else, but no one, no one can give you the validation and of, of, of yourself than, than you. Like, so when you're really authentic, nothing external can affect your internal. Yep. When you know exactly who you are, your purpose, your why, yep. there, there can't be any external factors that can that yeah. can change that or, or change who you are. So I think authenticity is um, very undervalued, especially in the generation we're in now. Everyone's trying to seek um, quick fixes and, and everything like that. But if you can be authentic, um, it's a quick route to to well, success, I think. I don't, do, you, do you know Lino that does the, yep. the breath work? Right, so, so I, I am in the pursuit of always trying to find out more about myself than, mm-hmm. than, than what I have, you know, always seeking to find out more. And I realized that a few patterns were presenting themselves in my life that, that I thought, fuck me, I've seen this so many times now and I don't want to keep seeing this, 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 this keep rolling around for me. So yeah. I thought uh, breath work was the answer for, for, for going inward, bro. I started going inward with breath work with Lino, like real deep, like mm-hmm. three, four hour sessions, bro, yeah. like two hours of breathing. And when you go inwards and you go that deep, you realize how much stored emotion that you that you have within your body Crazy. as a man, right? Crazy. It's very vulnerable position. I've been on this fucking floor in, in where we're recording this podcast, crying my fucking eyes out. That man knows me better than my mum and dad know me. Like that's okay. that's how that's how powerful it is if you access your breath and look inward yeah. rather than trying to fill the void by going to the gym or just going and doing something else to make oh. yourself feel better in that moment. Vulnerability as well, bro. Like you saying, Lena knows you more than your mum and dad. That's because most people will put this wall up, and breath work is is an amazing thing to to shut down yeah. all your walls, get rid of all your ego. And I probably started breath working maybe 18 months ago. I do it every single fucking day, bro. Yeah, it yeah. is the best thing for you. Um, I incorporate it into my morning routine. I'm, I'm huge on routine. I genuinely think uh, routine leads to habits. Habit 
habits lead to consistency and consistency leads to growth. And for me right now, growth is my number one goal in life. Yeah. Whether it's growth in health, growth in business, networking, relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I read a book recently, The Atomic Habits, I think. Yeah, James right? Clear, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they go on about routine and habits and everything like that. And for me, if I can be 1% better, just 1% in any of those aspects I just mentioned, I'll become a such, like such better person and they go on about I think it's um you know compound interest so 1% yeah, 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 over yeah, a year yeah. is compounded is it's like 300 and fucking yeah percent it's it's crazy I think it was I think it was 30 37% over a year and so to the to the listeners 37% probably is a much but to put things into perspective, you know, 1% is making your bed, reading a book, going to the gym, doing meditation, yeah, stuff yeah, that's yeah, so yeah. easy. But in the span of a year, bro, yeah. 37% is a massive change. And I feel like I'm living proof of that. In the last 18 months, I've changed drastically. What are some of the things that you've changed in your life? So for me, the biggest thing I think everyone uh, recognizes me now is uh, my morning routine. So I'm so big on this and the reason why I do my morning routine is because of my why and because of my purpose. So every single day I'm waking up before the sun, I'm waking up at 5am every single morning, I'm doing some sort of cardio, so just getting the blood moving. So at the moment I'm just doing a 5k walk, I then meditate, I breath work, I do cold therapy, I practice gratitude and then I plan my day. So that's my morning routine and I don't miss, bro. I do that every single day. You plan your day... That, the, that morning. The day off. You, 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 don't, you don't plan it the night before. Nah, so on a Sunday, I like to reflect, look back at the week, and then I'll plan like my meetings or whatever I've got through the week. But just in the industry I am, I'm in, things change every single day, like yeah. every single day. So I'll have a few things planned in. Some, da- some days are more content heavy. Some days are more just on my laptop grinding, back end, that sort of stuff. But I like to plan my day the day of. It's fresh in my head. I've got a plan of attack. I know exactly what I'm doing. But my morning routine, bro, is honestly like it changed has changed, the game it's changed my life, bro. Honestly changed my life. And you look at my morning routine, so it starts from waking up early, that's a challenge in itself, beating the sun, moving your body, some sort of cardio, so that's good for my health. And then I've got meditation and breath work, which is good for obviously your mindfulness and changes your chemistry in your blood, everything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 and then yeah. also a huge thing that I'm so big on is gratitude, bro. I write down three things I'm grateful for every single day and it has absolutely changed my perspective on life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were just out there on the balcony earlier and it's like an overcast day in the Gold Coast right now, but we were both just saying about how fucking abundant it is here. It's beautiful, bro. And and the sooner that people realise how amazing life is and if they can be grateful for everything they have in life, everything, bro, from this couch we're sitting on to the food, shelter, your family, business, anything. Like, I mean fucking anything, bro. You'll be so happy. And I've I've even got it on my shirt, so this is coming out. I've got (laughs) gratitude is the key to happiness. And I genuinely think it it is, bro. Like, if you can just be grateful for everything you have and then work hard for everything you want, the universe will look after everything. I think it, I think it rewards you. It rewards you in kind for like putting that positive vibe out into the world. Definitely, hundred like, percent. There's a lot. There's a there's there's a lot of people out there that that kind of that put out a positive quote, but w- won't instill that into their life. Do you know what I mean you're talking about beating the sun up? Like that's that's a big commitment because obviously what what's what's what we. Rise at like four thirty seven or some stupid shit. Nah, it it, it does during summer. It right, gets yeah, it gets yeah. like that. But at the moment, it's five a.m. So that's another thing. Always adapting because the sun's yeah, it's going to get to four thirty. Yeah. So I've yeah. got to get four fifty, four forty. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a challenge in itself, bro. Is just waking up before the sun. I also forgot to mention recently. I've started high fiving myself in the mirror. So I listened to this podcast and it was this old lady talking about it, and it talks about. Um, just the the dopamine hit and like the actual science behind. I've never driving. I've never heard of this. Neither before. had I, bro. I was so shocked. So I'm listening to this podcast, and um, it's also about a little bit of vulnerability as well. Looking yourself in the eyes, in the mirror, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, high fiving yeah. yourself. Like, think about it. When have you ever gone around high five someone and not like had a hit of dopamine or been yeah, so happy? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. I've actually started doing that the last two weeks, man. And like my energy and like just me being happy yeah. is crazy. And it's like, you know how like people tell you, just smile. Like if you actually physically yeah, smile, yeah, yeah. there's like chemistry it, it, or something. A chem- it's a neurochemical that releases in your brain, doesn't it? That, that, yeah. Because it makes you feel better. Yeah. That's why when you're in a, when you're, when you get, when you can, when like a, sometimes a dark cloud can come over you as a mm. human being, like you, if you just smile, you can change your whole brain chemistry in that moment. So it's the same science of high-fiving yourself, exact same thing, but it's a, a little bit more energy, it's a bit more corny, and I've been doing it the last two weeks, man. It's At the end of the great. day, no, nobody, unless you said that, nobody sees you do it. No. So so it, it is just oh, totally for you. It's totally for you, which, yeah. is, which is all anything should be, really. And so a lot of people are like, how are you so motivated? You do this every day. Because majority of the time, I do feel my morning routine. I like I like being a source of inspiration and information. Yeah. And yeah. I get heaps of people uh, like messaging me saying, you're so inspiring, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, I'm not doing it for them. I'm doing it for myself. Yeah. I, I do like helping people and I, I'm grateful to receive all these messages and to actually be making an impact in people's life. But at the end of the day, I'm doing my morning routine for myself, for my why and for my purpose. Yeah. How did you get nailed on your why and your purpose? Um. So my why is financial freedom yeah. and my purpose is third fix. So having an environmentally friendly product that solves the issue. So for me, it comes back to being authentic, being yourself. And through that, you'll find um, habits and things like that, that you can somehow monetize. So if you can be authentic, um, let's say, for example, come back to sport a bit. But if you're good at sport, um, you go down the route of becoming a professional sporting person that's your why is to become the best the best rugby player or the best team man or something like that so i'm actually starting a youtube where it's not going to be like your standard australian youtube it's going to be a series called finding your purpose yeah yeah, 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 and i think it's so big man like people will go their whole life without knowing their why or their purpose and the sooner you find that the sooner you can lean into it 100% 100% mate when when I I sat down and did a big Simon Sinek's big why finding process mm. and it, what came out for me was that I was and, it, and it's the start of this podcast it's like help people break patterns and flip perspectives you know what I mean like yep. change, change change where they're at you know yep. what I mean like really understand that there's that the, the, the patterns that they're in and the perspectives that they've got have been instilled in their childhood and they may not even resonate with the beliefs that they have yep. but they've never questioned it because it's repeated pattern yeah definitely and I'm trying to I'm trying to use this podcast to help people break those yeah. inherent patterns that have come from their childhood so that they can go and take whatever success is to them Mm. and when and when you make your 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 purpose bigger than just you as well like obviously your purpose at this moment in time is third fix but third fix is bigger than you do you know what i mean it has to be otherwise Mm. it can't be your purpose your purpose can't just be just for you well it's not sustainable as well yeah you need to think for the future like i want this brand to live past longer than me Yeah, yeah i want this to be like sort of generational thing and I want it to be adapting with the times. Like the product's not going to be like that forever. I know there'll be little changes and things, but it always has to be bigger than you. And if it isn't, it's it's not sustainable and it it won't work. Yeah, I I, I solely believe that. I solely believe that. And and people people will be like essentially what you've done is you've got a water bottle and you've put a you've put a brand on a water on a water bottle and like a protein shaker type thing, Mm -hmm. right? That's essentially what you've done with this product. But and people people are always like trying to rein like totally reinvent the wheel as in they need to release a range of like seventeen thousand products to start yeah. right yeah. that's what people think mm. but you've just gone now nah, I stick with one product and you've just yeah. la- and you launched on the back of that one product right yeah. correct and then and then you and then how long did it take you before you started to before you started to achieve your financial freedom off the back of the one product um because the first two years I started in 2018, 2018, 2019. I was still trying to pursue rugby or still at university. So for so me, you're just playing it. Yeah, it was just a side hustle, bro. It was just a bit of fun, taking content with it, traveling with it. Um, it was a bit of fun. But in 2020, things really kicked off, like really kicked off. And the reason why, and I can look back at it and I, I know why is because at the start of 2020, I set down goals, I set structures and how I achieved those goals. Yeah. And I, I created a visual board, everything. I achieved yeah. every single fucking thing I wrote down and put on my visual board. And it's so, so important to to have goals and to have dreams because without that and without that structure to do it, 
you'll be lost. Like it's all well and good to, to write goals, but you need to know how you're doing it. Um, you need to know those structures behind it. You need to be disciplined. You need to create good habits. And off the back of that, that's when it becomes reality. So in 2020, things really kicked off. I had an ad agency. I put Basically, I put all my energy into Third Fix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I, that, 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 that was what I was looking for. Yeah. That, that, was, that was the real change. The, the day it changed, I already knew the answer. Yeah. The day it changed is the day you committed to it. 100%. 100%. Yeah. The day you committed to it is when it changed. And it was the first, it was the first of January t- 2020 because I remember back in 2018, 2019, I had no goals. Like My purpose and my why was like, Fuck! Do I want to become a rugby player? Do I want to be an Instagram boyfriend? I, yeah. There was there Instagram was boyfriend. <laughs> Bro, Bro, did you seriously have no, that thought? No. <laughs> he did. I did. He not. fucking did. He Cut fucking that did. Out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh mate, up. I'll tell you now, man. No, no. So <laughs> I do all want to be an Instagram boyfriend, honestly. Oh, mate, that's what I was getting labelled as. But um, no, I, I've. I genuinely found my purpose and I find I found my why and um I found it through a like a journal. It was a really good journal by my goals, um and everyone sees me posting about it all the time. Has my habits in there, has my goals in there, my routine, yeah, my day to day. Bro, honestly so game changing. If you're not journaling, if you're not writing down I've everything. Got, I've got about three of them, mate. Bro, you I've, have I've, to. I've I've even got a stoic one, guys, um that that just just allows me to re- it it basically prompts you with a question in the morning about stoicism um and then and then you 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 write out your thought in in relation to that and then mm-hmm. and then it prompts you in the evening the same and even even just that as a daily habit gets you thinking about about the about the way you look at the world that day you yeah. know what i mean because everyone i think everyone's looks at the world a little bit clouded in from 80% of the time i mean most people spend 80% of the time either living in the past or the future and yep. not being present. 100%. And it, and when I fucking realised how many how many times I've been sat, even in this apartment or, or, or somewhere else, and I've been thinking about, oh, I want to get to there, or fuck, I wish I was back there. Do you know what I mean? That saying you said just then resonates with me so hard, bro. Like, it's the book of now, right? You read? Have you read the book of now? No, I haven't, no. So it goes on about... Living in the past is depression. Living in the future is anxiety. Living right now in this present, in this podcast with you right yeah, now is yeah, happiness, bro. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, why yeah. the present is called the present because it's yeah. a fucking gift. Yeah, yeah it's Do you a know fucking, what I mean? Yeah, it is a fucking gift. And for me, that that saying um, has gotten me through my recent breakup. Everything that's happened in the past, everything that she's done, I've done, that's depression. It's already done. I can't change that. Yeah, and then yeah, living yeah. in the future, what's going to happen? I, I don't know what's going to happen. That's anxiety. So if I can live in the present right now, uh, whether that's through my morning routine, my business, that's happiness. And and through living in the now and being very conscious of your thoughts, being aware of how you talk to yourself, that can that can um, mould and change your future for the better. Yeah, yeah, so you yeah, don't yeah. need to think about the future, but by living in the present and doing the best that you can and focusing all your energy on you know, the task at hand, the universe will look after your future 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, bro. Like, on, honestly, let's, let's go in. Obviously, this breakup thing has been, has been massive to you and I didn't realise how much of a pivotal thing. I didn't even realise you, you two had been together nine years, right? Yeah, something like that. Nine years. Fucking hell. Really bro, long time, years. bro. Really so, long so, time. So you, obviously you, had, you met at school, yeah, childhood sweetheart. Yeah, so um, she went to an all-girls school. I went to an all-boys school. Um, I hit her up through an Instagram DM. <laughs> you, 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 you did? Yeah, Fuck I went, yeah. Yeah, went through it. Just was real direct and was like, hey, are you wanting, uh, do you want to come to the formal with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So from there, she came to the formal with me. I went to the formal with her, like her St. Hilda's formal. And then just from Which, there, bro, we just... Because you both went to like posh schools, didn't you? Yeah, probably, I'd probably, I oh, don't know if I can say it. It's probably the two best schools on the Gold Coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah All yeah. girls school, all, go- all boys school, two private schools and... Um, yeah, we went to formal together, graduated together, traveled the world together, created a business together, built a villa together, like crazy stuff, man. Like, and yeah. little two high school sweethearts and we created this massive, massive empire pretty much. But what, when did you, when did you feel that like it was, it was kind of like going off the rails for you? Um, I'd probably say for a year now. 
it, it was we found it really tough in COVID. So we were in Bali when COVID first happened, and we yeah. were like, "Fuck, we need to get the fuck out of here because their health system's really bad." We weren't sure if we could get back or not, so we got on a plane ASAP. And we were the first people to do the international quarantine. Yeah. So we did 14 days quarantine. And then on the last day of quarantine, all of Queensland went into quarantine. So we did 28 days in our apartment. And we took it really serious because obviously we're in the public eye. We couldn't be seen outside of our apartment. It was really, really big back then. If you were yeah, seen outside yeah, of your yeah. apartment, you're against the law, everything like yeah, that. Yeah, so, bro, yeah. we were 28 days in a small apartment in Palm Beach. And... Look, it, there were good things and bad things. In that 28 days, I found myself, I started my morning routine, I created my clothes business. There were huge positives that come out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, there was a lot of like resentment started from within that. Um, what was what, what did you find the resentment, what was causing that resentment? I don't know, man. Like, have you ever spent 28 days, 24, like 24-7 with someone? Bro, bro like... Not not for not for a long time, man. And like, even not, before not, that, we were two weeks in Bali, so we were yeah, almost yeah, forty yeah. days or something together. So, yeah, um, she started hanging out with people that didn't align with me. We would do completely separate things on weekends, and um, through that, so, you, just, so you, it's really a, really a case of like growing apart as humans. It was, bro. We were, we were pretty much on two different paths that that was happening it was slowly but surely happening and by the end of the breakup we were on just completely two different paths and yeah look um i'm i'm a big believer in the universe saying it's happening for me and not to me yeah and the sooner people can realize that yeah the sooner that you'll be happier and you can move on and so that that thing I spoke about before, living in the past, depression, future anxiety, living in the present is is happiness. Another one is it's happening for me. You yeah. know, the reason we've broken up and the reason we're not together, it's happening for me. Like, I've learned so much from that relationship, bro. Like, she has, without her, my, my business wouldn't be where it is today, 100, 110%. But I've learned so much from that. And f- now that I, I am... So, so, so when, when she walked, to, walked away, did, did, did that really damage the business as well? No, not really. I suppose it, it was only a, probably a week ago that we sort of, or that I announced that she wasn't going to be a part of the business. Um, we have an amazing community. Is that recent? I didn't even realise it that recent. Yeah, so we, we've probably been broken up a month now. But um, I did a Q&A on my Instagram. A lot of people asking, you know, what's happening to the villa? What's happening to the business? And, you know, she's told me she did, she doesn't want to be a part of the business. So I just said, look, moving forward, um, she's not going to be a part of it. It's just going to be me. But like I said before, like this opens up massive paths for me. So uh, before, the only marketing we were doing was through our communities, through yeah, Talia yeah, yeah. Skanes, through yeah. Mitch, the, through that brand. There was no Facebook or Instagram ads, no EDMs, no TikTok, no yeah, yeah, influencer yeah. marketing, nothing, yeah. bro, yeah, 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 yeah. which is huge. That's, that's, that's how my bottle business is successful. Yeah. So now I get to implement all those strategies for my bottle business into the close. Yeah, so for yeah, me, bro, yeah. it's a really exciting time. I know it's... There's a lot of growth there for you. I can, al- huge I can already see it. Like you're getting excited about lighting it up on a different yeah, level. like it, I, it's, I can't stop smiling because it's it's very exciting, bro. And do you do you feel like more? Do you feel like you could be more yourself now because you're not trying to turn up as 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 who another human wants you to be? Nah, I don't think so. I think we we definitely brought out the best in each other, and yeah. that's why we were such a good team. Like we we definitely brought the best out of each other, but. You know, towards the end then there was just it was getting a little bit toxic and it wasn't it wasn't what it used to be. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't what it used to be. So and we both felt that, you know, when the breakup happened it was it was yeah, it it's time for us to sort of do our, our our own things and but the but, but the beauty of those things is you get to choose how you send someone on, on their way like and and I have I have broken up with women in the past and resented the fucking life out of them which is only which has only caused me problems in my future that i've had to go back and then fix myself up on yeah i think just seeing how you are now and your energy and 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 how you're not as resentful as as what some men would be in that situation that's a powerful that's a powerful place to be for me bro i wish you all the best nothing but happiness and success and kind you can't you can't 
argue with kindness, bro. You, like, you, you can't. I mean? And like for me, look, the, the breakup hasn't been the nicest. There's been some pretty nasty stuff, and it hasn't. Yeah. It hasn't been just like you know we're separated and we're just like this. Um, there's a there's a few things that still need to be solved with the business with the villa, yeah. um, and these things take time. And obviously, when emotions are very high and um, but, you, but but on the other side of the coin, I always think of it now as like okay, like when I've especially when I've broken up with, broken up with with women like or broke or broken away from women in the last twelve months, struggling with it. Let's just put it like that. Like you got to put yourself in their position of how they of how they feel and the torment and the stuff that they potentially are going through that, that perhaps we as men don't even understand, bro. Yeah, like, do you know what I mean? There's a lot. There's a lot to that, and 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 I know it's so fucking hard to do that. So hard, man. Bro, it's so, <laughs> so hard, hard because you just want to burn that. Do you yeah. know what I mean? You just want to burn that, and and you you want to just go out and f- it's just is what it is. But like for me, just just putting myself in that person's that woman's shoes at that particular time, it did free me a lot. It's like it's like I was like fuck. Do you know what I mean? It does free you a lot for me. It is what it is. Exactly what you yeah, just said. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Man, life's way too short to be caught up yeah, on this stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And everyone, like, I get on my stories, be a chat, and I just want to be that source of, like, inspiration and energy. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, I want yeah. people looking at my stuff, being motivated. So, like, yeah. Yeah, you can't, been, you can't live there. You just can't I live can't, there. Bro. You can't, bro. And, live like, there. don't get me wrong, bro. This has been the hardest thing in my fucking life. Like, Fuck yeah. There's been times where, like, like, I don't know. It's been super hard, but as long as I keep saying to myself, live in the fucking present, be very aware of how you're talking to yourself, where your thoughts are, be conscious in everything you do. Man, I'm I'm in a good place. How, how have you snapped yourself out of those dark thoughts though? That when you're there, because oh, I think why be- my purpose? Yeah, that's yeah, what it is. Yeah, knowing, yeah, yeah. knowing that that always brings yeah, me back. Yeah, knowing my why my purpose. Every time yeah. I'm down or or whatever, I go live in the moment. We got it. We got to get this why. You know your purpose. Like that's helped yeah, me massively, 100%, bro. bro. Uh, keeping busy. So my business. I've had. I've had that many new colors. Um, I've got a gym towel coming out. I've got the spring collection coming up, and surrounding myself with good people, bro. I can't. I can't. Stress comp- it. Enough, I can't yeah. stress it enough. How important your environment is. Your environment will shape and mold you to the person you are. You know, if you're hanging out with people who are drinking every weekend, don't have a why, don't have a purpose. Yeah, it's gonna rub off yeah, on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're surrounding yourself with people with the same sort of mentality and and drive, bro, it, it fucking rubs off on you, man. Mate, do you, know, do you know how many people invite me to these stupid events, bro? And I turn them all down. I'm like. And they're like, why won't you come to that? And like, it's a meal. I'm like, yeah, but it's a meal. F- to me, it's a meal full of dead energy. Like, there's because everyone there is is, is not they they're not clear on who the fuck they are for a start. Yeah, 100%. And, and I don't want to be around people that aren't. When I'm trying to get more and more closer to the fact of like we we're all on this journey where where our, our sole goal should be about becoming more and more centered to who we are. Right, mm-hmm. we're all on that fucking journey. Every human on the planet, well, every every human on the planet is, even if they don't realise they fucking are, right? So if, if 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 I'm conscious to be on that journey and you're conscious to be on that journey, why the fuck would we go over there and 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 walk into that environment where everyone else is like trying to have a dick swing competition? Because they're not conscious, they're not yeah, yeah, they're not yeah. aware of you know how they're acting and how external factors and their peers are making them dress, sound, act, all those things. Yeah, 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 yeah. But for me, even talking to you right now, I can see you know your purpose, and I love hanging around people who just know who they are, know what they want, um, give out good energy. Um, just yeah. I, I give I give you a clear example. Some geezer messaged me on Instagram the other day. He's like, "I can I can I can automate your YouTube channel. I can automate this, and I can I can automate your YouTube channel, and you don't have to do your podcast anymore." I'm like, "Bruv, do you not under fucking stand? Like, this is my fucking love passion. Shit, I yeah. love this shit. Yep. Yeah, but it's a lot of hard work, bro. You don't fucking understand, like." It lights me up. Yep. Why would I stop doing what lights me up just to go and pursue money over here that you can automate with with three yep. different guys and, and and give me and give me an outcome money? Because the money's not going to fulfill what I'm fulfilling by talking to people like yourself, by having by talking to other entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. by talking to celebrities, by talking. To, do you know what I mean? It, 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 it doesn't do, fill your cup up. It's not yeah, fulfilling. You, you, once you know what lights you up, yep. lean into that solely. And ignore everyone. Who Everyone will try and take you off track. There'll be times when people try and take you off track with yeah. that. 
as many times when it's probably happened to you, right? Tall poppy syndrome, bro. The culture yeah. in Australia is fucking disgusting, man. Anyone who's doing good, everyone loves to cut them down. Um, everyone thinks they're entitled to everything. I don't know yeah, what it is, yeah, but yeah. it's just something in Australia, bro, where they just, don't like yeah. to see people succeed. Yeah. You know, they're they're happy posting on their stories about Drake's new album, but they're not. They've got a yeah, mate who started a business that they're yeah. embarrassed to upload. It's crazy, yeah, and it, yeah. I, I'm trying to change that culture. Like, I'm trying to upload as many friends' businesses, or yeah. you know, someone posting a new post that's like inspiring or whatever. Yeah, but get around them. Like, yeah, it's yeah, it's not yeah, hard yeah. to be a good person. It doesn't. It doesn't doesn't cost you anything and it's only gonna it's only gonna come back in abundance to you whatever you put out into the world anyway it feels good as well like yeah not only yeah. is it you're helping someone it feels so good for you like that gratification of helping someone out or yeah, being a good yeah, person yeah, man bro. goes a long way bro 100 percent. like the i already know that the 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 content i've been putting out with people like yourself for the last fucking 12 months of grinding i already know that's touched thousands of people's yeah, lives yeah, I, millions, I, and and i already know that that you know businesses pe- people's businesses have changed on the back of you know certain conversations and stuff so if i know that and i'm on purpose and i'm enjoying it then i've just got to fucking just lean in a little bit further yeah. in it like you just got to be honest with yourself and just and just and just Definitely. commit the day it all changed for you is the day you committed to third fix yeah like the, do you know what I mean? The, the, yeah, the, the, sure. the, the, that conscious decision. You woke up one day and go, "Fuck, I'm going to lean in on this water bottle. I'm going to just go on all in yep. on that. Go all out, bro. That's a that's a big thing. Don't spread yourself too thin. Like, yeah. don't get me wrong. In in the generation that we're in, there's a lot of things you can do. Yeah, information's yeah, yeah, yeah. out there. Knowledge is out there. You can you can yeah, learn yeah, yeah. a lot of things, right? Yeah. And look, don't don't hold yourself back just to one thing. Like for me, I've got the bottles. I got the clothes. I'm starting my YouTube. Why not? If it aligns with your purpose, yeah. with your why, with who you are, go for it. Yeah, um, mate. I'm like I was saying to you before this podcast. Like, I want to start doing a little bit of clothing for yep. some of the stuff that we're talking about on the podcast and stuff like that. And it's just like you have to put yourself in positions where you where you meet people, the right people, like yourself, like other people I've met, where where you can have the conversation with people that have already done it as well. Do you know what I mean? So you've got a little bit of a, a little bit of an idea of where to go and yeah, what definitely. where to start because there's a lot to start. But people people are like. DMing me daily and going, should I start an econ business? And I'm like, well, what have you ever done? F- have you ever tr- done Facebook ads, or how are you going to drive traffic to this econ yeah. store? Like, then and then and then like, cool, I don't know. I'm like, well, you're starting at the wrong point. Like, you should probably you should probably start by by creating a services business where you learn ads, you do ads for other people, you learn that. Once you know how to drive traffic, you could probably do econ, but you can't do econ without learning how to drive traffic. Yeah. So I get a question daily, bro. Like every single day, how are you so motivated? You wake up every yeah. single day doing your your daily routine. I just don't understand how you motivate. And I go, look, this may look like motivation, but it's not. I just love what I do. So whenever yeah, someone yeah, says, yeah, "How are you so motivated?" I go, "What do you love to do, bro?" And he's like, "Oh, I don't know." And then I go, "Well, fucking find out what you love to do. Go experiment. Go yeah, travel. Go yeah, yeah. go do heaps of things." And then go taste it. Yeah, you yeah. got to taste a few things. Yeah. And you you find yourself by going hanging out with different people, going getting out of your comfort zone. That's what I'm looking for. Get out of your comfort zone. Find yourself. Yeah. Find what you love. Yeah. And then from there is maybe the e-com the right way or yeah. a service or whatever you want to start. Don't just all of a sudden look at my life and go, oh, he's doing so well. He looks so motivated. Can I do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Go out and try things. Go the, go try different things. This is the problem with like this whole Instagram age that we've, that we've been brought up in and TikTok too, right? It's the comparison, right? The comparison is where you fall down. Like even now, mate, I'm, I'm, and I'm, 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 I'm slowly getting through this, but it's like, I cut my, I, I was following like a thousand people and I cut it down to like 500 and something now, but even now I still need to strip out 300. Yeah, definitely. Right? Because it's, it's, I want to go onto Instagram every day and look at things that, that light me up and I'm interested in. Like I'm not, I'm at the age I'm at now, I couldn't give a fuck about your ass. Like, do you know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Thanks. I couldn't. Like I've seen enough good yeah. asses in my life. They're everywhere, you know I mean? right? They're like, everywhere. <laughs> every fucking where. I'm like, yeah, great. And uh, another ass, wicked. I've seen fucking 5,000 of them this week. <laughs> but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Yeah. I'm like, but that's, that's. Two, two things I look for, bro. Yeah. Inspiration, information. That's yeah. me now, bro. But yeah, 100%. But like sometimes, but even, but then I'm in this, but then, but then, uh, and this, and this is, this is where Lino's like, bruv, just lean in and it'll all work out. I'm like, but then I find myself, oh, but, 
this person's going to be upset when I unfollow them. Like, mm. And then you start, and then, but you have to do it for you, right? And I have to show people the way to do that, yeah. right? And I've, or, even when I went out the weekend, bro, and, I, and I, I never, I've never drank, I've never smoked, I've never took oh, a no drug. Shit. Like, I've never took really? nothing. Not, not one fucking thing, right, right? I'm out there, I'm at Burley Pav, I've got a diet coke, and some, so, some girl comes up to me and goes, Ah, oh, yeah, you remember Frankie? And then this other girl goes, Oh, yeah, he unfollowed me on Instagram. I'm like, oh, Fuck really? it out. The I'm fact like, that people yeah. know that, bro, is it's, crazy. I'm like, I'm like, but the reason people know is because they've got these fucking apps on their phone. Oh, really? That, 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 yeah, these. So I did. I, so I said to her, like, I said, oh, I said, like, you know, I said, look, I'm just cleaning up my feed. Yeah. I said, look, the things that you, um, if, 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 if what I share doesn't motivate you or, or inspire you, you should unfollow me too. Yeah. But like, w- what you're sharing, I, I can't resonate with because I'm just at a different point in life. And I just said, I said it nicely, but it's like people have, and I'm like, how did you even know I unfollowed you? She's like, I've got this app. And I said, this is where you're going wrong. I why said, do you have that? I app? said, why the fuck do you have an app that tells you when people unfollow you? Like, because when is that ever going to bring you fucking happiness? Caring too much of what people think, bro. That's what Yeah. That's what you're talking about with Instagram, TikTok. It's just it comes back to caring too much of what your peers think, what yeah. other people think, and not actually what you think about yourself. But yeah. like the content you're creating, does that align with the person you yeah. want to be? Or are you doing it for the gratification, for the likes, for the views? Are you, hundred, is that all you're doing hundred, it for? Hundred percent, mate. And straight, like I said, you straight after this, straight after this podcast is that's that's on my 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 to do list today. It's like literally like go go to Instagram and and recreate the feed again because like you know just do it in stages yeah. another lose another hundred lose I, another hundred I'm until 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 I get it because I want to see like people like you do motivate doing morning routine talking about business I want to see people talking about Bitcoin because I'm interested in yep. that and I hold a lot of that and I want to see ecom stuff and I want to see stuff that lights me up I don't want to see shit that's 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 that that maybe maybe old Frankie would have yep. wanted to see. Because it's not representative of where I am now. Because right now, bro, social media is a very, very toxic oh, and negative bro. place. It's crazy. I don't understand these pages that are getting made, these people who just make fake profiles and put out this negativity. Yeah, it's yeah. It, bro, Honestly, <laughs> it blows my mind how, this, how these things can happen and how people can be so insecure and in such a bad place in their life that they have the time and energy to make these accounts, put people down. It, on, it blows my fucking mind. <laughs> So I, I I know I know I know men that have millions of followers that have stalker accounts to check on what certain women are doing, and, I'm, and I said to this geezer, I'm like, bruv, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Who the fuck do you think you are, man? Yeah, I'm like, I remove people like you from the internet to protect people, and you're doing that. Like, and I said that don't align with me. Don't hang around with me. Don't go near me. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, that's not. That's then, not the then, game, there bro. There needs to be something that happens in social media that, that just switches, man, because it's on a very, very slippery slope to just not a nice place. And you don't, most people don't go on social media anymore for like a good time. Half the time, people are just like unconsciously scrolling and it make it doesn't even make them feel good anymore. They're looking at numbing. girls who's numbing. It's so numbing, bro. So the, for me... The, 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 problem with that, but the problem with that whole, bu- that, that whole bikini thing Right, and like, look, there's plenty of beautiful girls that wear bikinis. But then, the problem, my problem with that is like, women, women see other women and they compare themselves. So then there's a big issue there. And then men are getting men are liking that, which which pumps their feed full of more of that content, which is not where they're going. It's where they've been. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and it's it's what it's 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 one big doom loop that you get sucked into. Big ego, ego thing, bro. And that's in the journey I've been on in the last eighteen months is trying to strip my ego. Ego is honestly such a bad thing. Have you, for re- you. have you read Ego is the Enemy? No, I haven't. Yeah, but anything but, to do about ego yeah. now, bro. I want I want to read. I e- want to learn about because I know for a fact having a big ego yeah. is a huge downfall, massive downfall. See, ego, ego, e- we all need ego. I never and and ego's ego has been my massive downfall. And I'm trying to rein the fucker in too because because sometimes you're like fuck. You just want to say something that you, do you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but 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 ego you ne- you need that little bit of ego because that ego pushes you to do some of the things that you're doing. Yep. However, like you say, you do have to be able to rein that fucker Definitely. back in and and know and know when you're going when you're not when your ego's taking you away from your authenticity of who you actually want to become. Everything for me, bro, you're talking yeah. about reining in it, is about balance. Yeah. Everything's about balance. So, like, yeah. 
Uh, I'm really big on like the universe right now yeah, and yeah. how it can really work things out. So like, for example, let's say we'll, we'll keep on the, the topic of social media. You got hater comments, comedy on your podcast going, mate, hate, hate yeah, talk, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Come back to balance. Grateful. Grateful for grateful for you commenting on my thing. Grateful for you giving me views. Other people on the on the other spectrum going, I love your podcast. Blah blah blah. Instead of being like driving your ego, going, I'm the man. Yeah, blah blah blah. Yeah. Grateful. Thank you. Yeah. So it's this big pendulum of, of I'm, balance. I'm I'm, tr- I'm, tr- I'm trying. To, I'm t- I'm constantly tr- having a little battle with myself inside because like when someone comments negative or or one stars or that. Instantly, I think to myself, "Fuck! Just give me three rounds with you, and I'll smash your fucking teeth in." Right? But, but like that's yeah. that's just that's just like oh, yeah. you know you have to rein that fucker in, buff. But like yeah. it is tempting, and then and then on the other side of the coin, someone says like some someone's someone's like pumping your tires up, pu- 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 and I'm like, yeah. So you, you, have, you have to rein it in. If, if you're not, if you're not practicing gratitude, bro, yeah. I promise you. I promise you, I am practicing gratitude. You got to practice you, it more. You, 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 saw, you saw me practice gratitude. Yeah. What did I say to you when we was on the balcony? Yeah, it's a beautiful place. I was grateful. Like, Fuck, I am grateful, bro. But I, you should maybe yeah. somehow, when you're getting these comments or you're getting this, um, you know, feedback, yeah, somehow you got, you got channel to, that gratitude. Yeah. Like, yeah. you hate my thing, you're still giving me views, you're still giving yeah, me yeah, you know, yeah, engagement. Yeah, yeah. Grateful. Yeah, yeah. You know, these people loving the podcast, inspired yeah. by. Like grateful don't, don't be don't be um you're you're doing what you're meant to be doing right and don't be influenced whether it's positive or negative who gives a fuck basically just 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 to keep going to your true north star which is your purpose 100 percent, and it comes back to authentic you know the the exact path that you're on no external factors can affect your internal yeah, okay yeah. you can you can you know be aware of these external factors and how they're feeling and be yeah. conscious of your thoughts but for me, just balance. Everything's about balance. Health, mindfulness, business, relationships, everything, bro. If you are balanced in your life, the universe will, will fucking sort it out. Yeah, we'll just t- we'll just take you along that path. No, it's so fucking true, mate. Honestly, like the, the, this this whole like, I've been in Australia now seven years. Yeah, this whole seven years has just been one big like journey to come away from that dick swinging competition. To, to getting more and more to, 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 to being on purpose, on point, yep. turning up and having something way beyond myself, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Way beyond what I, th- what I th- thought was life, yep. do you know what I mean? Like, and I think that's so important that we all get it straight. And we're, and I'll I tell you the one key thing that I've learned recently is self-judgment. Self, we, 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 sometimes we can all be really self-fucking critical. Yeah, very self-critical. And, and, self, and, and being really self-critical is actually really you're actually like really ingraining like negative attributes into your life every time you every time you criticize yourself yep. and i didn't realize how fucking hard i was on myself till till i sat there with lino one day and he's like puff do you realize like what you've actually fucking done like yeah. have you ever have you have you ever have you ever sat there and looked at what you what you've done i'm like never mate like honestly bro, i've never sat there and appreciated this this and we and he's and he just listed these things out that he's just noticed from me in the last few months mm. and I'm like fuck I did that yeah like not buying into it in terms of like from an egotistical point of view mm. but like just but just you have to sit there and kind of and, and kind of see the wood for the trees of what you have actually not not live there but just sit yep. there and observe it bro that comes back to being present so everyone's always fixated on the materialistic things getting to the journey um getting to that finish line but life is so fucking amazing like you have to appreciate the whole journey the ups the downs yeah. especially the fucking downs yeah, okay? yeah especially the negative things and the things that take you a step back because sometimes you have to go a step back to go three steps forward exactly like, what you exactly what you must have felt when you broke up massive and like for me it was probably five steps back I was in a really bad place it was extremely hard but I know that by living in the now being very cautious of my thoughts and being present I'm going 15 steps ahead I'm yeah, going yeah, fucking a yeah. hundred steps yeah, ahead yeah, because yeah. life is way <clears throat> too short it's Bro, it's so fucking amazing. Life is so good. And I'm not just saying that from a from a person who who has a lot of nice things, who has a nice life, who has amazing friends. I'm saying that from a point of life's just fucking amazing, bro. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. for me, it comes back to just being grateful. I'm so fucking grateful for everything in my life and I'll work super fucking hard for everything that I want in life. Yeah, no, I, I mate, I fun 
honestly that is a that is a game changer but just be just being present present watching how you talk to yourself on yep. the inside Very important. so so important i remember like just even even understanding about how just even looking back and how self critical i've been i was like fuck me man like you need to just go easier on yourself because we're all, we're all we're all out there but like like we've like we've said previously like you, when you go on if you step onto that if you step onto like a place like instagram with the wrong mentality yep. and get lost in the vortex and start the comparison journey, yep. you're never going to walk out of the app happy. Ever. Ever. Because there will always be someone with more likes, more money, more, you know, bigger things. There's always going to be someone. So don't don't ever compare yourself. Even comparing yourself to people with less things than you, that's still bad. You just want to stay in your own lane, be grateful for what you have and just to stop the comparison bullshit like everyone needs to stop comparing lives com- comparing the materialistic things it's so toxic it's so negative and yeah. the sooner people realize that the happier they'll be yeah 100 percent. what are the main objectives now for you in the business side of side of things like are you are you pushing the the clothing more is it is it just a bottle or are you pushing the whole, uh, the whole brand as a, a whole or so where's, where's your key focuses and where do you see it going the two businesses the two brands have two business models so with right. the bottles it's constantly in stock i'm huge on facebook and instagram ads like that's ticking it over and then with the clothes it's sort of seasonal drops so i've got yeah, yeah. autumn winter spring so the bottles is just constant constant revenue and then with the clothes uh um, lumps Big lumps, massive lumps. And when, when that time comes around, my energy is all into that. And so for me at the moment, I'm putting things in place. So just moved into an amazing new warehouse that I'm, I'm definitely going to grow into. At the moment, I've got three employees and I could probably have about 10 in there. That's how big it is. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking for the future. So for me, it's, it's putting things in place so that I can go and live in my villa in Bali, or oh, if, if I still have it, I can go. <laughs> I can go live not, over not, in Bali, not, and not a dig at all. And go, <laughs> if I go and travel, you know what I mean. So for me right now, is putting things in place so that I can go and live um, a, a pretty amazing life of traveling and, yeah. and exploring. Because man, that's that's all me and my ex used to do was travel. Yeah, we, yeah. we love that. We used to get over to Bali about three every three months or something. So for me right now, I'm in absolute fucking grind mode. I'm putting my head down so that I can put structures and things into place so that I don't have to be there so that yeah. the business can run itself. Break break down the business in Bali so that people understand that and what you've done over there. Okay, so back in, when was it, 2018, uh, me and my ex built a, built a villa over there. And so basically you can't buy property or land over there you yeah. have to you have to lease it out you have to rent it out so we're on a 15 year lease um we built we built a villa over there um honestly probably the best investment we had ever made everything was so cheap like we were paying um the builders i think it was 150 uh, 150 dollars a month um Mad. the build got done in about four to six months like really quick and then, you and know... The, and the quality, what's the quality? Amazing, like? bro. Like, really fucking good. Like, um, anyone who's been over there, we had, like, really good feedback from it. Like, and we got really, really lucky in terms of the location of it. Like, best best spot in Changu, same road as Finn's Beach Club, like, yeah. in an epic spot, bro. And, um, obviously, with the, the brand and the following had, the villa just blew up and became so popular, so... Um, I'm ho- I'm hoping that we can sort of come to terms and we can keep it somehow. It's just sort of the the uncertainty of COVID. So for the last year or two, yeah, we've, we've yeah, basically yeah. had no one in there. Probably be a, sh- be a shame to lose such a such a, a good cash flow in business. Such a good cash just flow. just for a little bit of like instant cash or for for a breakup. Exactly. Like to keep that. Like judging from what you told me pre-roll as well, like pff, if fuck. it if it doesn't if yeah. if this thing you know whatever something happens that we got to sell it or, or whatever whatever one. happens I'm hundred percent doing another one. Yeah, like, yeah, the investment on it is crazy. After, Return on income on this. After you told me what you told me, I'm gonna I'm even thinking <laughs> of, I'm even thinking about selling some Bitcoin and fucking oh. and, and and doing a villa out. As long it. as COVID clears up and and yeah. fingers crossed it does, bro. Like it, it just has to come to a point where it does. You know, whether it's vaccines or people just wake up, um, I'm hoping that, yeah. you know, international travel just happens because, man, people's mental health is struggling so bad. People haven't seen families in years. Like, people's jobs depend on it. Like, it's yeah. just it's crazy. But you, know, you know, the biggest problem to me 
is, and I try not to comment on it too much, but I'll be Likewise. honest with you. Like when you when you own contentremoval dot com and you've removed content from the internet at scale for the last fucking five or six years, you can see what's hidden in plain sight and what what's being removed and the and the reason it's being removed, right? And and when you've seen that at the level that I've seen it, and you can't see the justification in why they're removing the content and who's removing the content. You got to understand that if the narrative that's at play can't 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 be the narrative that's in the world. Like I'm I'm going to be totally honest with you, bruv. I've never seen this pandemic that anyone's talking about. I've never it's never been a pandemic in my head because I don't turn on TV. Oh, I'm the exact same, bro. I don't have a TV in my house anymore. I, honestly, I I'd ha- yeah. I didn't turn the TV on for a year. Yeah, and I got rid of my TV three months ago, bro. If you look at that TV there, it's not plugged in. <laughs> It's not plugged in. The TV, the, the TV in the room, I, I, that's in the wa- that's in the cupboard over there. Yep. But I, these, t- I, I, I rented this place furnished. That's why that's why it's got a TV. Otherwise, mm. I wouldn't even own one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's no t- the TV to me is a way of getting away from yourself, and you need to be uh, you need to be like sitting. People don't understand the power of sitting alone and just thinking. That's where creativity comes from. Bro. Being bored and letting your minds fucking just go wherever. Yeah. That's where creativity. Yes. Yes. And because, you know, you have this instant gratification from social media, your phones. Yeah. Are, yeah. People are scared to be bored, bro. Yeah. I got people at dinner where it's nice to have a conversation. They're always on their phone because they're bored. And yeah, like yeah, to yeah. be by yourself with your own thoughts, what boredom is, mm. that's where creativity mm. comes from. That's where all these special things will come from. This is why when I was out with my friend at the weekend... We 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 go out with like no phones, right? Well, we go out with our phones, but they're in our pocket. Yeah. But say like one of your mate goes to the toilet, that doesn't mean you just get your phone out and sit there at the table. I just sit there watching people, and I'm looking around this room, at this local watering hole, right? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, every fucker, even when they're with people, is on their phone That's and crazy. ingrained in this. Take it like. Oh, I go, I go there, and it's like one of the most beautiful sunsets on the Gold Coast. Mm. There, right? And I'm like, and I'm just sat there watching this sunset, and there's people filming the sunset, and I'm like, bruv, take it in, but be present with the sunset, bro. Mm. Like this is this is this that fucking video does not do this justice. Like, it never does. It, <laughs> it never does. It never does. And man. people don't understand when they're when they're sitting around really good people, you know, their best friends, they're losing connection to be connected. Like it's it's honestly crazy yeah, and consciously unconscious. Yeah, constantly uh, being unconscious. Yeah, whatever yeah, you say. <laughs> un- consciously unconscious. Like it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's that is the pandemic. Because, yep. because because if you if you look at how they've if you look at this pandemic for argument's sake and look how people have turned against people, right? It the the reason why the these certain people have turned against other certain people is because of. Of 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 what they're seeing in their feed yep. or feeds social yeah, yeah. media, what they what they're seeing in their narrative, mm-hmm. it it's it's just like completely different. Like if you if you what if you if you if you watched Facebook for a year and then you spoke to and then you put that person in a room with someone who turned the news off and just went out for a walk every week and every day, they they're both going to have different opinions on Bro, whether, they, whether they take something. It's like. me versus my parents. My parents have the TV on every single yeah. day reading the paper on Facebook. Yeah. I come home and it's just this many cases like this lockdown. Yeah, I'm just yeah, like, how, how can how? you listen to this? Yeah. Like, it's so negative. It's just, it's not good for your mental oh, health, it's good your to energy. Be informed. It, oh, it does it my head. You need to be informed. I know. It's crazy. I, I, the less I, you know, the better. Honestly, the less you know, the better. Keep me in my own world. I said to my dad, How the fuck do you have time to sit there consuming that? And he's like, Oh, you don't understand. I'm like, Yeah, I do. Like, I'm, I'm like, Dad, I'm too busy for this shit. Like, you, you used to be too busy. He used to work 14 hours a day. He's telling me about fucking that 247 people have fucking are in with and they've been jabbed one. I'm like, but, but I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, what are, you, what are you talking about? Like, but this is, this is, this is where we get to help people here because there's so many people that listen to this podcast that have got parents like we've both got yeah. that haven't shut them out. Like, and we're not talking about shutting them out on a physical, like, get, we're not saying get rid of your parents. What mm-hmm. we're saying is don't take on their, yeah. their, because, Actually, when you look at the analytics of Facebook, the the the, um, the forty to sixty year olds are through the roof. Are through the roof. Yeah. They love that fucking yeah. thing. They live on it, bro. They I, fucking I, live I on it. I get to my parents' house. My dad's is on it. It's, he's he's obsessed with it. I know. My, my mum's obsessed with it. It's just crazy. It's like. But if you've got a product 
this will be powerful for you. If you've got a product for, for, for anyone between the age of 40 to 70 and you want a marketing platform, put it on Facebook and target, target the fuck out of it because I'm telling you now, <laughs> you'll sell the shit loads of them. Bro, 100%. I mean, I've, I've even been looking for a product to target <laughs> Get that under it, to, to, to target that age group because they, they're, think of something they're, they're permanent. Yeah. Every time I go back there, they're all on the fucking feed, man. They love that shit. Yeah. Coming back to being too busy for that stuff, man, any sort of negative energy, anything that doesn't, you know, impact my life in a good way or good yeah. energy, man, I'm just too busy for that. It's too, I'm too busy and it takes takes out too much energy to, to be judgmental, to be negative, to put my own, you know, my own opinion on something that yeah. doesn't affect my life. Like, I'm just too busy for that and everyone else needs to take on that mentality. Yeah, take it on, yeah, and really cu- cu- curate your feed, curate your life remove you know remove the tv or or change what you've got on it do you know what i mean just just change all these little things and everything will change for you as well and and people that have people that get clouded on not knowing what business to start or what not knowing where to go are because they're too they're too busy in this other narrative that's why they feel like that what are some of the things that you're going to implement in the next 12 months on a personal level that you haven't already implemented to be honest, bro, I, I haven't thought that far ahead. I'm yeah. a very, I'm a look. I set goals and everything like that. Like my three pillars of goals is preparation, execution, and outcome. They're my yeah. three kind of goals. So I'm, I love to be prepared, nice and organised. Um, execution is very key. How you execute your goal or how I execute the launch, and then um, outcome. The universe works out after itself. But for me, I don't, I don't look that far ahead. Eh? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I really don't. I'm a very short term person because it, I come back to that one percent, one percent better every yeah, yeah, single yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. So I don't all of a sudden want to want to set a goal for twelve months, which is maybe five hundred percent better. But when I come back to here and I'm one percent better every day. I don't know. So it, with the business, it's just expanding, scaling, growing. That's yeah, that's where I want to yeah, go. Yeah. I can't tell you, hey, this is how many bottles I want to sell. For me, it's just about building the brand and yeah. the numbers will look after itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, in Do terms, the right things. In terms of personally, sticking out my morning routine every single day, um, working super fucking hard, um, surrounding myself with extraordinary people I, I come back to environment I, I think it's so so important your environment and and who you hang around and if the people you're you're not hanging around uh, aren't talking about um, your goals or things they've got going on in their life and they're talking about other people and judgmenting get rid of them that's what I've done I've I've fucking gotten rid of so many people in my life in the last 12 months um, so yeah working hard um, surrounding myself with really good people and making sure my intentions are right so um, you know, you can be like a, a smart, high energy person, but you can be a crook because your intentions aren't good. So I just want my intentions to be good. I want to work super hard, surround myself with good people, stick to my morning routine, my daily routine, my night routine, um, being very conscious, living in the present. Universe will sort my life out. What, when you when you when you started cutting people out of your life. Did you, was it something, I mean, I, I've made decisions like that in the past and the way that, the way that I operated with that is I, is I, I just literally journaled, mate. And I just thought about like, you know, I made a list of the people that I thought added value to my life and the people that I thought that weren't adding much value to my life. And I just kind of went like that. I mean, there's a lot of people that listen to this podcast and I've told them 16 times already, bro, that, that they probably need to audit their friends and audit who they hang around with. What? How can you right now tell the put the put the information in the ears a little bit different so that people really fucking get what you've just said? Because I need I need people to understand what you've just said because it is that fucking important. So for me, the thing that was affecting my personal life, my relationship, my business was drinking and going out on weekends and going on these big benders and stuff. So as soon as I cut them out or kept them at, you know, a, a good balance. So for yeah. me in 20, uh, 2019, I was fucking, I was drinking so much and it was affecting my, how I felt on Monday, Tuesday, it was affecting my business. So I thought about, I need to, I need to cut it out or be more balanced with it. So 
I just had drinking friends, bro. The people you only hang out with on weekends or yeah, the people yeah. you only see at the clubs or, or bars yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I just I just cut those people out of my life. They yeah. weren't adding any value to my life. Drinking friends. I love it, that's, man. That's all I, it is. They, they I, have zero, I, have zero, I have zero drinking friends. I have zero drinking friends, And that's me now. I have like, zero drinking friends because the people who I do drink with and have a good fun, uh, good fun with, they're people I'm hanging, hanging out with on weekdays. They're people we're talking about goals and creating yeah. things. So, man, for me, I had this like this literally group of people that were just my drinking friends and they they la- they were labeled as my drinking friends and now that I don't go on these benders and don't surround myself with people like that I don't have those people in my life anymore and bro it's made the biggest biggest difference in my life yes. I'm so much clear have so much more clarity um, surrounding myself with good people so that Monday Tuesday Wednesday I'm fully focused on my why my purpose and I can be the best version of myself I can put in the best effort for business for mindfulness for my whole self-development and it all started by cutting out bendering cutting out the my drinking friends yeah and when you were bendering like that what was it you thought you were trying to get away from because there must have been something inherently that you were trying to get away from otherwise you wouldn't have been drinking that much I don't know man like even now I'm, I'm not very aware of what it was because I don't I know a lot of people will go oh I was chasing happiness you know I was depressed in my life yeah. um, I was trying to get away from this I'm not I wasn't really like that I was just doing it because I, I actually enjoyed it heaps I had so much fun like drinking and like partying I'm a very extrovert person I love socializing yeah, don't yeah, get me yeah. wrong I still love it but it's just all about balance so for me I, I wasn't there was nothing missing or wasn't I wasn't depressed or anything I just I loved it so much but now the negatives outweigh the positives tenfold yeah because I, I'm so dialed in on on my work and life it just cost it just cost, know, it just cost you execution time bro, or shit that you want to execute those hangovers were Sunday Monday even Tuesday I was still I didn't have clarity so those negatives outweigh the positives by so much and the sooner I realized that and the sooner I realized it was affecting my business and you know even my personal growth the sooner I could dial in on, on hanging out with good people and stop drinking and doing stupid stuff that it um dude it made a huge positive on, on my whole life. Man, I love I love the fact of how much impact you want to have on people now and you and you're sharing it in the right way and you be and you're coming closer to your purpose and closer to your full authentic self because that is literally a game changer, mate. I can understand why people said to me Frankie, I want you to sit down and have a conversation with Mitch, man. Like, do you know what I mean, mate? And yep. and and like like we say, we've talked on this podcast about some stuff that is is would be hard for a lot of people to talk to. You know what I mean? Talk about and go into, and and there's there's a lot of stuff in there that, that's that's kind of you know opens opens you up. And and if you're listening to this, guys, and you've got this far, like understand, like some of the, some of the stuff that me and you have mentioned, mate, is 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 very for, not many men would talk about it. Do you know what I mean? And and not many men would see it in cert- the certain ways that we're seeing about it. And there's a lot of value in that if you read between the lines. But I think the f- the fundamental values of what we've put down today for you guys at home is the fact of like really audit who you're around because that really does affect how you turn up in every other element of your life. And just being open to ask yourself questions that are fucking harder by sitting there and, and kind of understanding like where like where you're at and how you feel and and being being this board thing going through that board yep, yep. board 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 state you know what i mean man i just want to thank you for your fucking time thanks so much l- bro l- grateful l- to be up. here I'm glad. Dro- drop your links to your to your bottles and your clothing and stuff and i'll put them in the i'll put them in the bio as well for sure so do you want me to say it now yeah yeah, yeah, yeah so right. the bottles are i've got, got, got one here too mate thirdfixbottles.com and the you clothing can, can you is put uh, water in them <laughs> <laughs> and the clothing is uh, thirdfigcollection.com. Thanks so much, man. I think um, the podcast is heaps of value in there, heaps mm. and heaps of value. So mate, grateful to be here. Thanks, mate, for, no, thanks I pre- for asking I, me. I appreciate you coming on. I'll link up all the all the brands and all the stuff, mate. I just, mate, this this light, honestly, this lights me up on a different fucking level, mate. I, yeah. it, it really fucking does. Conversations with people like yourself, just adding value to people's lives where they need it. If this even hits someone's ears at the right time and, and makes them go, fuck, you know, I shouldn't hang around with Steve... Steve going out for twelve pints every weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? If it just gives if it just gives that clarity of focus, like everything in your life that you want is on the other side of you making a, a, a the hardest decision. But the hardest decision that you need to make in your life right now is the only decision you need to make. 
Simple as that. It is. That it's is always decision. so. Whatever decision is sat there in your mind, and you're umming and ahhing about it, that is the only thing that you should work on today. And if you approach that like that every day, you can't fucking go wrong in life. One percent better every day. One percent better every day. And guys, if you can do me a fucking solid favor. Send me a message. Send Mitch a message. Let us let us know how this podcast went down for you. For sure. If it hit your ears at the right time, and fucking yeah, man! Awesome. Thank you so much, brother. Ah, oh. oh, mate, you fucking done me. You done me. You done me. Thank you, brother. Thank much you. love, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the Frankie Lee podcast.